a totally, totally different life. So I would request uh, all the participants and the listeners to mute their uh, microphones. Why? Because it will help us uh, to communicate in a much better way. Uh, so uh, we started off talk today about like what kind of personality that you need to have to have a bad relationship with other people, no matter what, like it's very complicated because the human being, it's uh, we all are growing up and we all are imperfectly perfect. But at the same time, we are growing up and we are born to learn. We are born to have a freedom. We born on the spirit of uh, having no fear. We are so lucky as a human being. Uh, so uh, right away, uh, Dr. Elizabeth, like she was talking about the patients. Uh, so here I want to uh, tell you something really out of the box, which is uh, the much powerful phrase what we can use in our life and uh, we can really get something out of box, something out of our life, you know, what you know, we can't imagine just by rephrasing the words and the phrases. Like I'm believing for the last couple of decades, uh, I had a lot of patience. Then because again, in the patients, maybe there is some violence or maybe there is some pain portion uh, but the much powerful word, what as a human being can help us, and to get connected with everyone because we all are, we all are family, all right. And once you are in a family, uh, whoever you are, whatever you have, whatever you born, it doesn't matter. You born in U.S., you born in Niger, you born in South Africa, you born in Malaysia, you born in Poland, wherever you born, it doesn't matter. Because we all are family, and once you are a family, then you protect each other, and then you help to defend each other. You love each other unconditionally, and you want to give something best product and best ideas, and you want to have the best conversation with your family members because uh, you want to give. You want to have a better relationship as not as, as you know, you can have a bad relationship if you are giving more and you are taking less. I'm 100% agreed. Like even if we are in a corporate, we are at home, we are in a family, we are in a public. So we are born to give more and take less. And the difference between that giving and taking is your privilege. That is where your opportunity, that's where your life is, that's where your happiness is, that's where your leadership is that's where you can influence people. So always we 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 are born like to to give more and take less. Giving is a very selfish attitude. I've been learning. So if you are giving with having no perspective of taking in response, so you're gonna be so lucky. You I'm telling you, like you would have amazing life. You would have charisma in your life. So. Uh, because we are talking about the relationship and uh, most definitely it's a very challenging uh, subject. It's a very challenging topic. So I want to tell you, when you are a family member, I can tell you to have a better relationship with the people at home. So because as I told you, like, in, we, we have not yet learned how to stay at home, how to get connected with a family member. And home is not a place where you come to take rest because when you get entered, you have some certain responsibility and you have to show up with them. So the best attitude that you can have is because we all are living uh, with goals and biologically we are uh, goals oriented because once you achieve something, you feel elated, you feel charismatic, you feel great once you achieve something. As a human body, being being a uh, human, like it's it's in our instinct, we want to achieve something. Once you achieve something, you accomplish something. You want to achieve more and more and more and more. So, what what I can tell you is start living considerably at your home, within your family. Start living considerably. That's a beautiful attitude to live at home. I mostly. Like when people ask me how to how to set your life goal, so I recommend them like to to have uh, this attitude. What you can do is a family member, 
you need to question all your family members individually. Go for the corner meeting. Go for the restaurant and ask your all family members individually. Don't ask them around, okay? Always ask them individually. And write down on a page and ask them most valuable and a most important question. Why? Because we are growing up with expectations. So we need to question our family members that, what do you expect from me? How can I help you? What I can do for you? What do you want from me? So you can ask your family members and write down their expectations on a page. If you have seven family members, so you must have seven pages and write down their expectations. All right. And then write down your personal expectation that what are you looking forward? What are you beaming for from your life? What do you want from your life? So write down your page and then take all the pages and pick out pick out uh, the most common expectations from all pages and then write down one more page, okay? And it would be a consolidated expectation page. Even I recommend people once uh, you are living in a home, you need to have one, you need to deploy one whiteboard on a most significant place on your wall, okay? And write down your great deeds. What kind of deeds, great deeds you are doing? That would be your great uh, deed boards. Like whenever you do something greater, even you can request all the children. Whenever you do something greater, write up there on the board, write down over there. And it will help us, you know, to create more charisma and more positive vibe. And people in your family, you know, they will start vibrating at the top frequency. Well, so you got to write up, you got to write down one consolidated page of uh, expectations, all right? And then start executing your life according to that page. And that page would be like your goal. And this is a great family goals you can set down with help of your family member. And you will see, the more you will give your family member, right. the more you will be lady, the more and much better goals you can set and you will gonna be more happiest camper. So let me know once uh, if you want to finish because we have more guests. So, yes, I think you can round up now so that we all right, can allow all right. others. I was expecting, <laughs> because I was talking about expectations, so we need to know everyone's expectation that what they're looking forward from me, right? And always have a better conversation. And a conversation is not about winning. Conversation is all about learning. Don't go even for when, when, That's all right? Okay. Don't be argumentative with the people. If you do like you want to learn from someone's arguments or from someone's opinion, embrace it and say thank you. Because we don't speak up to when, we speak up to get better and making this world a better or conducive place. Appreciate it, really. Thank you so much for sharing with us again and again. Like I said, yes, you've come to Madrid, but still you are a great speaker and we would like to hear from you. And very soon, very soon, after two speakers, I'm going to be calling on Professor Carradine as well, or not now. I'll be calling you.